Everybody's expecting kind of a breakthrough of the band. And do you see uh, this as well, that the band is just in front of having a, a breakthrough in the scene? Well, I do think that we're, I think ever since we started, we've been on the verge of, uh, of uh, breaking through, I guess. But um, maybe more so now than, than before, because we just signed to, uh, to Roadrunner Records, which is a bigger, it's, it's probably one of the biggest independent labels for uh, metal music. And um, they've done a great job promoting this record, the new one, Ghost Reveries, and it's a good record. So I think that maybe you know in most parts of the world we're playing quite decent sized venues uh, here in germany we still have a lot of work to do so maybe uh, you know hopefully next tour we will play some some bigger places than tonight because it's the european capital metal pretty much you know uh, all the bands concentrate on germany and want to break in germany and uh, we have been trying that as well you know playing here as much as as possible but you know, you know. So far, we haven't been that very popular in Germany. But right now, your band is uh, with the last record, and a lot of charts. They enter on a lot of charts. And are you not afraid that the people right now will say, "Okay, Opeth is going to mainstream right now"? They're on road to run a record a label that signed Nickelback and Slipknot as well, and now they're on the charts. Now they are selling out. Well, if we're mainstream, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't think so you know i don't think it's mainstream to have uh, songs that are 10 minutes long and uh, you know we, we're not even uh, we're not even um, uh, accepted enough in the death metal scene because we're so weird you know so we're not mainstream in any way you know and people who say that we that we're uh, trying to make hit records and you know hit singles and stuff like that they don't know what what the fuck they're talking about to be honest it's uh it's quite annoying that we haven't earned that respect from people being around we've been around for 15 years and we never never sold out you know so if, if they're going to accuse bands of selling out they should not talk about opeth because i'll kick their asses do you think your band is having an image image we don't have it's uh, it's just uh, our thing is the music, you know. We we've never been big on dressing up, you know. Uh, I don't mind, you know. People have, you know. I used to like bands who had a strong image when I was a kid, but but for us, uh, you know, I think we we'll, we let the music do the talking pretty much. You know, that's the only thing that matters for us. I'm not interested in being cool. I just want to rock. Uh, what does it look like when you write a song? Do you sit at home, put on candles to be in the right mood? Or what do you do to, to be in the mood to write songs? Well, when I write songs for Opeth, I pretty much... Uh, uh, it happens because I play guitar pretty much every day. It's like a, almost like an urge, something you have to do. Almost like going to the toilet. Uh, so I need to play the guitar and... When I do occasion, I come up with some cool riffs, and then I record demos, uh, arrangements, pretty much three to four minute long arrangements, and piece all these arrangements eventually into songs. Uh, but I don't have, you know, it's not like I sit around with incense and uh, candles, you know. I don't need that effect to to be able to write. I'm I'm affected by music other types of music, to an extent movies, I guess. But uh, I only need my influences and a certain, I guess, state of mind in able to be able to write music. Um, you mentioned movies. Are there movies that are inspiring you for your music? Well, movies does inspire me, but uh, it's very hard to say exactly this part is inspired by movies, but it can put you in a state of mind that I was talking about before. You know, you, if, if you feel something after having watched a movie that may result in you being creative uh, my favorite movies are probably uh, uh, horror movies some horror movies I really like but I, I want to be scared I don't like the fucking uh, what's it called scary movie was the birth of your daughter an inspiration for your music uh, birth of my daughter is hard to say if, if that was uh, inspiring to me or not but I'm, I was definitely in a in a happier mood, you know, obviously. Um, but it sounds a bit, you know, I don't want it to be that cliche that it's a fact that I have a daughter and I come up with this music, you know, because of 
the birth of my daughter, but uh, I was definitely in a, in a good mood writing most of this album. And there is actually some parts on the album that's quite uplifting that we never really had before to that extent. Um, but whether that's a, a reaction to uh, my daughter being born or not, it's, it's impossible for me to say. Um, thing is, if I'm happy, it's more likely for me to write a fucking miserable song. If you know what I mean. And generally, I don't write happy music. <laughs> um, the funny thing is what I found out, there's a record from Opeth called Still Life. And it's about um, a girl called Melinda. Yeah. And your daughter's name is Melinda as well. So mm -hmm. was that intended? Did you think about the record when you gave her the name? Well, it you know, it's it felt obvious when when uh, when I had my daughter that uh, her name was going to be Melinda. But I chose it for her for the same reason I chose it for that track is because I think it's a beautiful name. And that's where the comparisons end, you know. Melinda obviously was not and it's you know, it's it's the the lyric face of Melinda is not about my daughter obviously. It's a fictional character, but I love the name. Uh, and that's basically, you know, when we, my wife was agreed, yeah, Melinda, that's that's her name, you know. So it's a beautiful name. And, and the last question: uh, Where do you see your band in ten years? Hopefully, we all have big mansions, mansions, and loads of cars, and we're all high on cocaine. Uh, I don't know. To be honest, um, uh, I, it's, it's very hard for me to see uh, so long ahead. 